Do your grades in a clinical psychology or PsyD program matter? Stick around and let's chat about it today on this episode of Navigating Academia. What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. J. Phoenix Singh, and I want to warmly welcome you to this episode of Navigating Academia, your leading source for guidance on how to advance your career in academia. As always, I appreciate the love, so please do take a second and like and share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, with your students. Comment below, literally say anything because it's going to help us out in terms of our algorithm. Uh, and be sure, obviously, to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you get notifications every time we post new content. In terms of do your grades in PsyD or PhD programs matter? Uh, I have been asked this several times this past week, so I thought I'd make an episode for you guys on it. Uh, at no time have I ever been asked in any position to provide transcripts of my graduate programs. At no time. Uh, it much more matters what school you went to and who you worked with at that school, at that program. What was the nature of the program? That's what matters. Uh, even if you talk, I still remember going to University of Minnesota to be able to do a tour there uh, before making my final call as to where to go for grad school. Um, and then making this very, so there was a very famous psychologist, child psychologist there who made this point. He said, listen, just take like the C. Take the C minus, take the D plus, whatever. It doesn't matter. The, we're going to give you way more readings than you could possibly do, and way more papers than you could possibly, you know, actually prep and cram for. Your goal is to get research done, right? Research and clinical practicum. That's the name of the game. We're going to give you tons of stuff. There's no chance you're going to be able to do it. Nor do we expect you to be able to do it. Nor does anybody else care. Okay, the program does not care. Now this could differ program to program. It's a good thing to be able to ask actually, uh, possibly during your, uh, your graduate interview, uh, in terms of uh, your admissions interview for that program. Keep in mind that if you got an admissions interview, you're, you're like 10,000 steps beyond the average person. This is not like undergrad where most people get interviews. It's nothing like that when you're applying to graduate schools. So. This is a very important thing though, is that if you're somebody like myself, I was so used to like being obsessive about grades, getting really great grades. The idea of going from like, you know, an A, A plus average to like a C minus average was like terrifying. I'm like, I don't know how to do it. But you will be so immensely crazy stressed out if you try to be able to do that and have a life at all. Um, and also do all of your research work and these things. Because the goal should be to get publications, to develop a, a nascent research line, to collaborate on your supervisor's grants, to be able to, to make connections, to do all these things that are gonna launch your career. Okay, nobody's going to come up to you in three years and be like, oh, this is great, you worked with this person at this school. But what was your GPA? Or, or what was your, what was your, uh, your uh, grade in that stats, that behavioral stats class? Nobody is ever going to ask that question. I suppose theoretically, if you're going for an assistant professor position, they may, you know, request that information. But uh, again, if you have like 50 publications and like a B minus GPA, it's just, it totally blows it out of the water. Everybody who's in a doctoral position at a faculty position, they all know, they've all been through this, all right? So this is not something that's kind of unique and it's kind of an unspoken term, but it's something that people in academia really don't worry, or sorry, really don't talk about. So I'm glad that I have the opportunity to be able to make this video for you. That said, if you've had a different experience, I wanna hear from you in the comments below. I would love to hear about your experience, uh, be it good, bad, or ugly in terms of of the impact that grades have had on your career. So please do share that with us because it is equally valid. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Please do again share this video with your friends, colleagues, and students. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and be sure uh, if you have any additional questions you'd like us to answer in the future, to be able to put them down in the comments section below. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one career counseling with me, I would love to have the opportunity to be able to coach you. Please feel free to set up a one-hour consultation call with me via the website below. All right, everybody, signing up for the night. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to get out there, take chances, and be your best self.
Thank you so much for stopping by everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.